Shalom everybody. Hi, this is Jennifer Guetta and I am standing here uh, on the Jesus Trail at the foot of the Mount Arbel. What a beautiful place it is. It's just amazing. And can you just imagine our Lord Yeshua walking right here with his disciples all the way from Nazareth to Capernaum back and forth. A lot of things have happened here at the foot of Mount Arbel. As you can see, even on the top of this mountain right there, this you can see a lot of caves up there. And in those caves, the, the Jews used to be hiding in 70 AD after the destruction of the first temple. Many Jews were hiding there. There was a lot of persecution in that time and a lot of persecution happened and they, the Jews had to hide in many places. And today I want to talk to you about, again, the persecution which is happening all over the world. I want to talk to you about this rise of anti-Semitism and again, the hiding of people. This is a very serious time that we are living in. Today, I want to talk to you about a subject called Jezebel's Fury. Now, as an archaeologist, you, <laughs> you, you, you would probably say to me, what is Jezebel's Fury? Isn't she somebody from the past? No, I'm talking actually about the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of Jezebel is a spirit that comes and stays and goes all over. It's a spirit of manipulation, a spirit of fornication, a spirit of uh, control, and also a spirit that allows tolerance everywhere and thinks that evil can stay by allowing tolerance. It's a spirit that is very much in the world today, everywhere, and we can see it. Um, amongst many people, especially among all the left and the new age. And uh, it basically thinks if we allow everything, it's uh, open the borders, it's okay. And um, so this spirit is, is been going around the world, I believe for quite some time. It's not the Jezebel of the past. We're talking about the spirit of Jezebel during this time. Uh, and something incredible has happened with that in relation to anti-Semitism right now. So I personally believe that it was this spirit that came against us all in the last four years in the White House, that it was that spirit that was reigning, the Queen of Heaven herself. And um, that was sadly, we have seen it all over the world. And we also have seen actually last week a great victory because when Trump won, this spirit actually uh, fell and uh, she fell and she was bumped out of the White House. It's quite incredible. And uh, many people say, yeah, but he's a, what, what do we expect from him? What, God doesn't always work with perfect people. He doesn't expect Trump to be perfect, but he has used Trump in an incredible way. Uh, it's like to, uh, uh, it's kind of like a spirit of Yehu that is in him. And surprisingly, through a landslide victory, Trump, uh, Trump was, won, Trump won in the White House and I believe seriously that the spirit of Jezebel was kicked out and uh, also, yeah, lost control over many things that happened in America. And the thing is, I have personally experienced quite a lot of this. Um, I was delivered actually 12 years ago from the spirit of Jezebel and when she attacked us terribly. And out of that, Jesus came, Yeshua himself came and rescued me. I had a direct confrontation with the spirit realm and I learned a lot from it. And uh, if you want to read my story, my testimony, I suggest you get my book, Awestruck by Glory. The real name of this book is actually The Fall of Jezebel because it shows the fall of Jezebel in our society. So if you're interested in that, get the book on Amazon. Um, but I want to talk to you about Jezebel's fury because I learned a lot from that time period and 
experiencing the spirit realm, I have really, you know, this might be funny, an archaeologist telling you guys about the spirit realm, but this is, this is really what I learned. When Jezebel fell, she is like a spirit that pouts, like a child. She gets angry. She gets, uh, and she gets violent. She, she doesn't like not getting her way. She doesn't like it when that spirit falls and is kicked out. And she pouts, and then when she does it, we see riots and violence all over the world. This happened, I believe, also in 2016 when Trump won the first time, and uh, Jezebel also was kicked out of the White House. And she, uh, we right afterwards, we saw terrible violence. We saw, in, we saw the uh, the rise of ISIS, and we saw the rise of Black Lives Matters riots throughout all the streets of America. There was uh, crazy things that were happening at that time. And uh, so Jezebel's fury is just a, it's an awful thing. And I once had a dream during that time. In that dream, I actually saw uh, a woman who was so angry because she had lost, that she had lost control. And her, she was furious. So she had all her, her hair was almost on fire. And as she, her, she got mad, she grabbed the one thing that she knew God loved the most. And it was the Star of David representing Israel. And she started blowing fire on it. And it just blew and the fire just came out. And it showed me the very rise of anti-Semitism is very much related to the fall of Jezebel. Because when Jezebel falls, she takes it out on the one thing that God loves the most. And that's the Jewish people and the church, the Christians that are grafted in with it, with, with Israel. So right now, look around you. What do we see? We see again the rise of so much violence. So last week we saw what happened. Trump won with a landslide victory. Jezebel was defeated in the White House incredibly, praise God. And uh, we hope and pray that things will be turned around there. But we also saw a couple days later in my very homeland in Amsterdam, we saw all of a sudden the uh, that uh, and the rise of anti-Semitism, sudden riots in the streets, and really twisted things also, turning it against Israel. We saw Israelis being being lynched on the street, persecuted, run. I mean, this is really um, a, a crazy thing that was happening, and the media is twisting it around completely against Israel. It's persecution again. It's Israelis hiding. They didn't even know where to hide in Amsterdam. They tried to hide in casinos. They tried to hide in hotels. They tried to hide in many places. And um, it was very, very difficult. And now we see it also rising all across Europe in many different places. Guys, this, I believe, is part of the fury of Jezebel that I have been warning about. Two months ago, I wrote a, I, I did a, a YouTube video. It's called The Fall of Jezebel in the Fall. And I prophesied that this was going to happen, that, that Jezebel would fall and Trump would win. And at that time, I also, um, also showed that, uh, that Jezebel, when, it, when she falls, there would be persecution. There would be a rise of violence extreme violence all of a sudden. So this extreme violence is what we are seeing right now all over. That is how it relates to what we are seeing in the world. Reminds me very much, look at what happened up here in 70 AD when Jews were hiding also up in the Mount Arbel. So this is a time to pray. And I'm calling all my Christian friends out there. Guys, we need to pray against this fury of Jezebel. We need to pray against the spirit of anti-Semitism, which has risen up again here in uh, all over the world. And we need to do it now because Jezebel's angry. She's lost and she's gone. We just pray that that spirit will, of course, leave and not come back. But we need to also pray. Pray for the Jewish people, for their protection all over the world. And also pray for the Christians that are added on who are standing up for the Jewish people because you are grafted in. You are grafted into the olive tree. That means you also get persecuted with us. 
And so I pray right now, Lord, protect Israel, protect your people, protect the Jews all over the world, in all the different cities across Amsterdam, Paris, um, yeah, Spain, everywhere, Lord, protect them. Um, and uh, actually, we are praying that they will come home to Israel. We're praying for their Aliyah. <laughs> uh, we pray that uh, every Jewish person will come home. This is a time, that's the only place really to be safe is here in Israel. And God, uh, God is creating a special place here for them right now. According to his word, according to the Bible, they will be all returning. 300 and more than 365 scriptures are about the Jews returning and making Aliyah. Isn't that incredible? And they also uh, talked about the hunters going after, the fishers and the hunters. The fishers would be the ones that first pushed the Jews towards moving to Israel. And now it's the hunters. And the hunters, that's what we are literally seeing. It's disgusting. It's hunters throughout the streets of Amsterdam, through all these places. And uh, so we are praying right now that the Jews will return, make Aliyah to Israel. And uh, Christians, I challenge you to stand up for Israel, stand up for the Jews, stand up for them, help them. This is a time to show that you are grafted in and the Lord God, that Jesus was a Jew himself. He walked around here. This was his home. Look at this, look at this incredible place. This was his home. It's the actual Jesus trail where he walked with his disciples back and forth from Nazareth to Capernaum. And uh, they also went through much persecution together. And uh, we just pray right now for all the Jewish people all over the world. Come home to Israel. We love you very, very much. And I pray that these riots will stop and Christians be aware of what's happening in the spirit realm. Jezebel has fallen in the fall and uh, it's, um, it's a great victory, but we also got to be careful for the future that her fear, we got to bind her, um, we got to bind the fury of Jezebel in every way. Oh, this light is getting hard. All right. So if you want to know more about my testimony and you want to follow more of my updates as an archaeologist who believes in Yeshua and experiences the spirit realm, then I suggest that you get my book, Awestruck by Glory. Again, the real name of it is The Fall of Jezebel. It's a prophetic book about the fall of Jezebel in our time exactly what's happening in the world. We This happened to us 12 years ago, and it's the same spirit, and God saved us out miraculously. Or you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Awestruck by Glory with Jennifer Guetta, and uh, just click the subscribe button, and uh, you can keep in touch with me in that way in many of the videos that we will be making here from Israel. All right, lots of love to you guys, and I hope again to speak to you soon. Bye.